What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another video. This is going to be the last video about security breach teasers, or at least I'm pretty sure because we're two days away from security breach now, probably close to one day away. So uh, I believe that these are going to be like the last teasers for the game uh, before the release. And it's, it's super, super exciting. We've got some very cool stuff here. Basically on the PlayStation blog, uh, Jason, uh, Topolsky from Steel Wolf Studios, the creative director, has uh, has written up um, a backstage tour of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, and we have a lot of a lot of dissection of where a lot of the Pizzaplex got its inspiration from. There's a lot of drawings here. There's a lot of references to to kind of old places, and you can really see the correlation between their inspiration and the Pizzaplex in the end. Uh, and we've got some very cool some very cool teasers to show. So first off, this one, uh, this is the main one. By the way, if you want to go and look at this blog, it will be in the description. Hopefully, uh, you can read up on it. But we're first given this picture, and it seems to be the kind of character, the the animatronic rooms. Uh, they all have their own kind of doorways inside so that the employees can get in or they can come out or something. Uh, and then they've got their own stage curtains and as we've seen, they all have their own decor. And they have very cool neon signs uh, above them. And they each have their own golden statue outside of their show stage. I think that these look really, really cool. Uh, I think this entire room looks cool, and the way I see it is a little bit like Pac-Man. Um, that might be a very weird <laughs> connection to make, but in Pac-Man you have four ghosts, right? Uh, Inky, Binky, Plinky, and Pinky and Clyde, something like that. Uh, I think that's right. <laughs> you have the four ghosts and you have Pac-Man, and in, in this I kind of see Pac-Man as Gregory and the ghosts as the Glamrocks. And the reason for that is because the ghosts kind of chase you around and they all kind of have their own starting place and I feel like this is going to be kind of the introduction to all the characters in the game. I feel like you're going to go through the main lobby and this is going to be like one of the first rooms you kind of see uh, where you get to meet all the animatronics and this is where they start and then one by one they're going to be kind of like let out and then they're going to be chasing after you. I feel like that's a very cool mechanic that could be uh, in this. Other than that, this room looks very cool for a few other reasons. Uh, first of all, Chica is a chicken. What? Yeah, for, for a while on this channel we've been asking if Chica is a chicken or a bird. Uh, we finally got our answer. On the bottom right, there's some very interesting, um, kind of, I guess they're posters. Yeah, they, they're just posters with lights on them. It kind of shows that um, things from previous games are going to come back, kind of like... Um, kind of like artifacts they're gonna they're gonna come back from previous games and uh, we have like the, these posters they look like memes uh, the Bonnie one especially looks like a meme but I don't think it is a meme I'm pretty sure it says party time uh, but I could be completely wrong it could be a meme seeing as uh, you know Steel will posted that there would be memes uh, <laughs> on the on the Dorco stream and another thing to point out is that Foxy is also here um, if you look uh, on the other side of the rooms, uh, that seems to be the pirate pi pirate ship place. Um, there's like a tentacle that, that's coming out. It's all kind of like flat 2D um, 2D sets, and I'm pretty sure that that is kind of like a foxy, um, uh, yeah, a place you can worship foxy. <laughs> okay, so moving on, oh, we have some very nice pictures of the stage. The stage is awesome. It is so, so big as well. And I feel like this could be where Showtime comes in. On the Dorco interview uh, with Steelwall, they said that Showtime was going to probably be implemented in this game, but in a different way. And I feel like we could have a Showtime, um, kind of like a, we could have a performance by the animatronics, maybe as like the, the, the intro cutscene, maybe? That would be very cool. Uh, if we if the if the introduction to the game was literally just a cutscene where it's just the animatronics performing and then it turns out that Gregory is trapped there overnight or whatever, uh, I would like to see that. Uh, but the stage looks so cool. Apparently, there's platforms that rise up from below and then the animatronics get uh, taken to the top of the stage and then they can um, they can perform there. 
but yeah, I really like the inspiration for all this. I I am really feeling the 80s kind of vibes. Um, you know, they, they said that they wanted to base the pizza plex off of old 80s locations that they used to go to when they were kids. Uh, and I feel like they've done that really well. It's very 80s but futuristic. And here we have Roxy's Raceway. That's the official name for it. Uh, I really like this very cool we can get see a little bit more inspiration for all of this as well we've got a showroom garage a small a small bumper car rink oh bumper cars that's very cool uh, registration info area this is this is so cool I, I, I love this area um, I cannot wait to play uh, the raceway if we can and of course the golf course this is so cool <laughs> I literally I cannot wait to play golf uh, in, in Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Who would have thought that you'd be playing golf in Five Nights at Freddy's, really? Um, but yeah, I really like this kind of design. The the lighting is so good here. I'm pretty sure this was kind of like first art uh, for the for the golf course, kind of like the base, base the, um, the models and stuff off of. Uh, you can see there's ball pits on either side. It would be really cool if maybe like a hand comes out of it or a spring bonnie. <laughs> And we have the lobby area. This is so cool. Oh my god. I haven't looked at this properly, really. Um, there's a golf ball ride, which is really cool. I want to go there. Um, there's an escalator that goes somewhere. I don't know where that goes. Then there's like, like a whole jungle entrance. Uh, I really like the pipes. That's like leaking out. I'm pretty sure that's like a ball pit as well. There's some nice seating areas with scores. Oh my god. This is going to be... Such an amazing game. Seriously, I'm. This is going to be amazing. And then here we go. Yeah, real world experience. The Mega Pizza Plex has very personal ties to me. I was a child of the 80s in Tacoma, uh, WA. Where's that? I'm not American, so. Uh, <laughs> Washington? <laughs> no, it can't be Washington. It can't be Washington. Is it Washington? I don't know. It's is it West something? Am I am I just being really dumb? Um, where where I grew up hiding from the rain in movie theatres, bowling alleys, arcades and indoor malls. There were also several quirky pizzerias and fun centres in the area, which is very cool because that means that uh, that's where a lot of this was inspired by. And that's really cool to see. I love hearing, seeing about the inspiration that games, um, that games are based on. I found out that it is, in fact, Washington. It says the Tacoma Washington pizza and pipes that burned down in 1999. That looks, wow, that's something. That's that's actually kind of cool. Uh, and then, ah, oh, this is this is this so, wow, the arcade machines are so heavily inspired by this image, I think. Um, I, I'm just thinking of, like, the Music Man image that I think we got on the Steam page, I believe, the screenshot. Um, with with the arcade machines and obviously we heard that Scott has uh, made some of the uh, Scott has helped to kind of skin the uh, the arcade machines, but uh, it, it really feels like this is kind of like a, a parody of <laughs> Like like it like this is the original inspiration for those cabinets But it feels like it's the other way around and it, it's crazy. It feels so nostalgic even though you know I didn't grow up in the 80s. <laughs> the importance of carpet, that, to be fair, yes. That's that's very good. Um, wow, that is so 80s to me. Like, that that just says a lot. Uh, I never actually uh, looked at the carpet properly. It seems like we've got the um, the green parts. Uh, that's that's very, who is it? Is it Montgomery? No, it could be, it could be Roxanne. Uh, I feel like it has the same design. We have some very cool imagery there and um, that's, yeah, a carpet tile design reference example. Yeah, they really have taken the 80s vibes and put it on everything. Um, and yeah, so that was a very cool blog, blog post. Uh, just showing the inspiration again, if you want to read through it, it'll be in the description below. And uh, yeah, that was very interesting. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you are excited for Security Breach. I sure am. Um, I might have a video out tomorrow um, all about uh, how far we have come with the uh, during the development of this game like we, we have come so far and uh, yeah so hopefully I will see you during 
by live streams of Security Breach. If not, I hope that you have a fantastic day. I hope that you have a fantastic week and I will see you in another video. <laughs> Goodbye.